worship, encountering the risen Christ. This is video 12 out of 12. The epilogue, entering church, entering heaven. Worship, an encounter with the risen Christ. From Luke chapter 24, verse 13 through 35, a walk to Emmaus. On the first day of the week, two disciples are walking together on the road to Emmaus. They are joined by the risen Christ, whom they do not recognize. We too, on the first day of the week, also come together as a congregation on the journey that is life, and are joined by the risen Christ, who comes to us in the power of the Holy Spirit, but whom we do not always believe we experience. As this risen Christ encourages those disciples to pour out their hearts to him, so the risen Christ encourages us when we gather to pour out our hearts. As those disciples pour out disillusionment and sadness, brokenness and hopelessness, so may we when the Spirit moves us. Just as those disciples need to share what is in their hearts to open up, before they are ready to hear Jesus interpret God's word to them. So do we need to prepare for worship and engage our hearts and minds that we may become ready and willing to hear the word. As Jesus opens the scriptures to those first disciples and their hearts burn within them, so we hear the scriptures opened to us today and out of the burning of our hearts, praise God, as those disciples come to a point where a response is called for, so do we. They do not say goodbye to Jesus, but invite him to stay with them. And we can do the same. As the disciples and the risen Christ come together around the table, so can we. As Jesus performs the same four actions with the bread that the disciples had seen him do just three days previously, so in the name of the risen Christ, we perform these same actions with the bread and cup. As he is made known to them in the breaking of the bread, so the risen Christ can be made known to us in the sacrament of Holy Communion. As the risen Christ disappears and sends the disciples forth into the world with faith and joy, so the risen Christ sends us forth into the world. And as those disciples find Christ when they arrived at Jerusalem, so we can find that he is with us wherever we go. Heaven in rural Texas, places in the heart. We have finally returned to Waxahachie, Texas. The year is 1935. We are in the midst of receiving the Supper of the Lord. Around us, sinners are transformed, enemies are reconciled, the living and the dead dwell together, and the slayer and slain are at peace at last. Often we forget that our simple weekly worship is none other than divine worship. Since earliest Christian times, it has been understood that to attend divine worship is to enter into heaven by anticipation. This is why ancient churches were domed. The dome represented the vault of heaven, and within it was the great image of Christ, the almighty ruler of all things. So also, upon entering such a church, the worshiper is presented with images of the saints. To go to church is to encounter the saints as a living reality, no matter how dead they may be. To go to church and worship is to be in heaven. Ancient cathedrals have blue ceilings embossed with golden stars and clouds. The surrounding stained glass, far from being mere decoration, was seen as the colorful stones described in Revelation. Jasper, sapphire, agate, emerald, onyx, carnelian, chrysolite, beryl, topaz, chrysoprase, jacinth, and amethyst.
In other churches, ceilings were painted with heavenly scenes, angels, saints, and sometimes the very throne of God. But you can't find any of this in rural Texas in the 1930s. But there, hymn singing supplied what the architecture couldn't. They are singing, Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. To enter the church is to enter heaven. To worship is to encounter the risen Christ. Amen. This ends our reading for session three and is the end of our worship series. This covers chapters eight through ten and the epilogue or videos number nine through twelve. Please answer the following four questions about your reading for this final session.